You've been driving in the carpool lane for the past three miles alone. Have you seen these different comedy skits? <laughs> alone? <laughs> Well, you should know that my pronouns are they, them. So we can drive in the carpool lane. They're from a conservative Christian satire site called the Babylon Bee. Their videos get millions of views. Conservative Christians are not known for doing comedy skits. Christian conservatives kind of used to be the ones who were very dour and self-serious. Now he says, it's the left who are self-serious. They're the ones that have trouble laughing at themselves. If you've been watching Fox News, uh, you know that the real enemy is Dr. Fauci. Their comedy shows still mock the right, but often tediously. This man has been working on behalf of the public. It's like a lecture. It's not like a lecture, it is a lecture. I mean, they really become a parody of themselves at that point. At one point, the late night shows became vaccine commercials. <laughs> Vaccine. The left used to be anti-establishment and anti-corporation, and now they've become the blob. A liberal worshiping blob. Trevor, you call yourself a Cuomosexual, and I, I, <laughs> I agree with you. I feel like I'm a Cuomosexual, too. Stuff like that created a market for something new. We have to create our own platform, and that's what we're doing, and we're super happy to be leading the comedic conversation on the right. You're traveling through another dimension. A dimension of ever-changing boundaries. The woke left makes that easy. This is the woke zone. Here, this MSNBC reporter calls protesters burning buildings not unruly. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it, is not, uh, it is not, generally speaking, unruly. That kind of stuff feeds the bee. We see it. We're just trying not to focus on a few nonviolent things like the complete and utter desolation of a city. Do you ever feel gratitude to the left that they give you so much material? We have to write things that are funnier than things they're actually doing, and that makes our job very difficult. <laughs> it does make satire tougher. John Kerry warns that the war in Ukraine might distract from climate change. He actually did that. This sketch imagines the bees writers struggling to find new material. Cosmo magazine features a morbidly obese woman on the cover as the picture of health happened. A math professor says that two plus two equals four is racist. But the problem is, all these things actually happened. A math professor really said saying two plus two equals four is racist? Two plus two equals four is a colonialist, um, white supremacist idea. Why? <laughs> 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 That's what I want to know. Oh, I give up! Satire is impossible! Oh, no. Today, the bee reaches more people than the onion. The establishment doesn't like that, so they sick their so-called fact-checkers on the bee. The Snopes, for example, not understand that you're making jokes? I think that they know exactly what our intention is and they just don't like us. This satire about Bernie Sanders rounding up ISIS members to vote got fact-checked by Snopes. Of course that's a joke. It's almost a real badge of honor, you know, when you get fact-checked because there's this idea that it was so representative of the group that we're making fun of that people couldn't tell the difference between our satire and something that Bernie Sanders <laughs> actually said. These fact-checks, stupid as they are, cause problems. It kills my reach that Facebook semi bans me because of these idiot fact checkers. How much is this hurting you? It's definitely killed our reach. Recently, Twitter censored the bee. You've been locked out of Twitter now for several months for doing what? Giving Rachel Levine our man of the year award. The assistant secretary of health is a transgender woman. Calling her the man of the year is a mean joke. I wouldn't make it, but it doesn't need to be censored. Twitter says if you admit your mistake and delete your tweet, they'll allow you back. So why don't you? Twitter has the, the capability to just delete the tweet themselves. They want us to bend the knee and be the ones to click, yes, we did call it changeful conduct, and we're not gonna do that. Good evening, person that we treat like a moron. Today, a bunch of comedians mock the left. J.P. Sears, Ryan Long. Your, Your racial identity, identity is the most important thing. thing. Everything, Everything should be looked at through the lens of race. race. Freedom tunes. He wants people to pay for their own birth control. Oh, no. Maybe things are changing because today the most watched late night comic is often not one of the network's hosts, but Greg Gutfeld of Fox. 
DA Chase Boudin got it recalled like a Toyota with defective airbags. And even some left-leaning comedians now mock the intolerant left. The old-fashioned women. Oh, God. You know, the ones with wombs. Ricky Gervais created The Office. Now the humorless left attacks his jokes. I think it's all of our jobs to speak out about this. It's the lowest form of comedy. It is hack. It is played out. And those were terrible jokes. He's only saying common sense things, but it seems as though the left audience is not okay with that. You can't say this. You can't say that. You see it in the reviews. Woke professional critics give Gervais terrible ratings. But audiences love what he does. People love Dave Chappelle, too though the critics often don't. It's art, and you're free to interpret this art however you'd like. People like Dave Chappelle, Ricky Gervais, they're doing really well going in the other direction. They're not expressing opinions that are, that would have been that out of step with people on the left just five or 10 years ago. Same with Bill Maher. Let's get this straight. It's not me who's changed, it's the left. Leftists have become so um, you know, religiously zealous about their beliefs, they start turning comedy into an opportunity to lecture. And we find that comedy is funnier when you just put comedy first. Clearly the market's speaking. Lots of people want more comedy and free speech too. It's just everyone who disagrees with me is a Nazi. So it's imperative that I change their mind with force and violence. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way we make sure you'll get the next one.